name is Aaron, and I'm director of photography for Blue Train Productions. I'm not able to afford to eat out a lot. I spend a lot of my time in my kitchen coming up with new culinary creations. And I thought I would take the opportunity to share some of that with you. Tonight, we're going to be cooking with potatoes. Now, I like potatoes because they're relatively inexpensive and they're very versatile. You can make a lot of things with them. You can make potato chips, french fries, hash browns. There's no limit to what you can create. Tonight, I think we're going to try and make something along the lines of a potatoes au gratin without the au gratin. The first thing I want to end up doing is slicing the potato thing. For that, we're going to be using a cheese grater. I recommend every kitchen have one of these things. They're great, not just for grating cheese. You can also use them to slice potatoes like we're going to be doing tonight. You can use them to grate carrots. I found these things to be relatively inexpensive and you can use your imagination and some creativity. You can end up making a lot of different stuff with them. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the potatoes and we're going to slice them thin just by rubbing the potato along the edge of the slicing. Really, you're looking for potatoes about that thin. So we want them to be nice and thin, and the slicer will end up doing that for you. The next thing that we're going to need to add to this is some cheese. Now I said that we're not going to make it au gratin because of the fact that I think that that typically ends up calling for a lot of cream, and I don't really have any cream available. So we're just going to end up using cheese slices that you can get in any local supermarket. Now I don't really have, it looks like, another pan to use, so I think I'm going to use a cupcake pan. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of Pam. Don't want anything to stick. And then I'm just going to end up taking some potato slices and putting them in there. Then I'm going to take some cheese. And I think I'm going to do it two to one. And put some more potatoes on top. I think in addition to the cheese that I just put in there, I think I'm also going to put some grated cheese on top. Now if you don't have enough potatoes, another thing that you can try that I've learned, anytime you want to add a little bit of extra sustenance to it, you can always turn to a couple of eggs. I found in general, that you can usually put eggs into anything and all it'll really do is just bulk it up a little bit without affecting the flavor too much. We've got a fork. Mixing up two eggs here. I think for the two in the middle, we'll make it pretty much the exact same way that we did last time. A little bit of cheese in each one. Before I put the grated cheese on top, I'm just going to pour a little bit of egg in there. And so it all drips down inside. Oh, that might have been a little bit too much egg in there, but it's running down. And once again, I'm going to put the grated cheese on top. Give it a little bit of a cap. I'm hoping don't know for sure, but I'm hoping that when I put this in, the cheese that I put on top will harden up a little bit and make sort of a crust. Sometimes it doesn't want to come out. And lastly, I think we'll change it up again. I've also found that if you really want to add something to it, you can always put a little bit of flour into the egg. You don't want to put too much into it, but the flour will end up uh, giving you a little bit extra, not affecting the flavor very much. But it will end up taking a little bit of it away. So you always want to end up making sure that you add a little bit of baking powder. In this case, I think I'm going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Mix that up in there. What you should end up coming out with 
something along the lines of like a doughy consistency. Now into that we're going to put some more potatoes. And this time I'm going to mix it up with here. I can make sure everything gets coated. Put some of it, a little bit of it into the first one. About a quarter. about a quarter of it into the next one. Then I'm going to once again add some more cheese. Then I'm going to add the rest of our little mixture here. And, and then I'm going to sprinkle some more cheese on top. And we'll preheat our oven to 375. Because generally it seems like you cook everything on 375. And voila. Hopefully it'll taste good. It's been a half hour. Just took them out. We have the regular potatoes, the potato with the egg, and the potatoes with a little bit of dough. I'm going to try each one now. See whether or not they're any good. First, just the potatoes. Not bad. Cheesy. A little crunch. Next we'll try the potatoes with the egg. Superb, I really like it. I think the egg brings out a nice little thing to it. It's a little bit more breakfast-like. And lastly, the potatoes with the dough. Not bad, but not great either. I'd probably stick with the ones with just the regular egg. They seem to taste a lot better. The ones with the dough are a little bit dry. While the egg does add a little something to it that the regular potatoes with the cheese just don't have.